Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet did a lot of things right, giving us the best cast of characters in a long, long time and maybe even ever. Still, there was one thing that just didn't work and that was the lack of a feeling of urgency. For the most part, I feel like this is a symptom of the open world approach of Gen 9. Too much freedom makes it so we don't really have nowhere to be, or nowhere we really need to be. But I also feel like this is because there was simply no danger for most of the game. So hey, I'm not so a strainer, and we kinda needed a better evil team. Let's get into it. Let me start this by saying that I like the Team Star storyline. It is a cute reminder to not judge a book by its cover, and the raids were a great way to make use of the auto battle feature. But they were never a threat. Even with Team Skull, for example, they were actively doing things like stealing Pokemon and Team Yell was blocking our way from time to time. Here, nothing like that happens since they're just kids and there's no real way of blocking anything. I believe the game suffered a little because of this, and sure we can say they were never meant to be the real villains, which is right, but then who's supposed to be the villain? I know you're supposed to like and subscribe and you're gonna say the AI professor was the villain, but throughout the game, did it really feel like it? The Titans seem to be the product of the Professor's work in Area Zero, especially the Great Tusk or Iron Dreads, which were never explained by the way. But nothing of that gives you that sense of danger, that sense of villainous acts being performed by an organization or villain. Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet could have completely leaned on the evil Professor trope and just went all in on Sada and Turo losing their mind over Terra Energy, but even that they didn't do. By the end of the game, we've had a chat with the professor in Kitakami and if they truly were the villain, well, we kinda gave them the way to become that villain since we were the ones that showed them how to find Terrapagos by giving them the hidden treasure of Area Zero book. And so, in my opinion, because of how the whole thing turned out, they also failed into making this our first evil professor. In the end, we just didn't have an evil team. And even Kieran, it seemed like he was gonna be the big villain, but he was just a misunderstood kid. I mean, the closest we had to villains were Petrarun and the Loyal Three. And so, for the whole game, there was nothing telling us that we needed to do something about another something. This is where we see the importance of how traditional Pokemon has been built over the years. We always had an evil team. Even in Sword and Shield, where Team Yell is basically nothing, Macrocosmos shows up at the end of the day to become the ones to take down. The chairman of the league, Rose, was also obsessed with something, in his case making sure that Galar had infinite resources, and tried to set free a Lovecraftian horror thing in order to do it. It could have used a little more foreshadowing, but at least it happened. Here, sure, the professors were a mystery from the beginning and their story is interesting and all that, but nothing of that needed to change in order for us to have an evil team. The showdown with the professor could still have been part of it all. And this is when the ones who have been around the channel for a longer time know exactly where I'm going, but this time you gotta blame Odd Cypher for the idea, he has crazier ideas, so join the discord and check them. But I really think that the way they built the Champion and Elite Four in this game was perfect to create another, better macrocosmos situation. There are some facts about them that just scream evil team, even without them doing anything particularly evil. They control Paldea, basically. They are part of the Academy, which is arguably the most or second most important institution in the region, and if they are the second, the first is the Pokemon League. They are part of a very exclusive club that has access to the Great Crater of Paldea. They hit stuff about it right until the very end of the Indigo Disc, in the form of, well, the actual Indigo Disc. They have an alternative currency controlled solely by them, one you can only get through interacting with active Terra Raid dens. Nothing happens without going through them and they keep checking on you throughout the adventure, the child that has a strange Pokemon with them. I mean, if they have access to the Great Crater of Paldea, they are even covering up the death of the Professor. Are you telling me that an all-powerful organization that controls everything in the region doesn't scream evil team to you? They are basically Macrocosmos and Team Flare, they would have been the perfect villains for this story. They were, in a way, connected to every single one of the plots we went through. They only show up in Victory Road, almost like surveilling you, but Penny hacked them and eventually ends up working for them, and their connection to Area Zero automatically connects them to the Path of Legends. And since the professors are likely only working down there because they have the approval of the League, since Briar needed it in order to go there herself, they are also connected to the way home. I really don't know why they didn't pull the trigger on this, but I believe it would have been the cherry on top of what was already an interesting story. I have now accepted, or almost accepted, since I do have a pretty crazy tinfoil hat theory that I might bring out in the near future, but I mostly believe that all of these will never be real. But as someone that actually enjoyed the concept around Scarlet and Violet and its story, I can't help but to imagine how much more it would appeal to people if their weirdness actually had a payoff. 
every video I made about Gita being evil or the weirdness of the Elite Four was super well received even when the channel had less than half of the subscribers it has now. I mean my biggest video so far is about Gita and the Elite Four being evil. It just shows that people are not only receptive to such a twist as an evil Elite Four and champion, they were actually hoping for it. And I, well, I really hope that this wasn't the last time we heard of them, and if it was, which is very likely, I hope they don't make the same mistake in the future. And that is all I have for you today, Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet needed a more villainous villain and Elite Four and Champion were perfect for it. But what about you, how did you feel about Team Star? Let me know in the comments down below. And now, like the video if you like it, dislike if you don't and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more Pokemon content and also ring the bell so you know when the next video is out. Also, you can become a channel member or check out my merch in order to further support the channel, I'd be forever thankful for that. You can follow me on social media or check out one of my streams here on Twitch, all the links are in the description. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all on the next one.